Stu Dotto here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? Me, I'm looking forward to sharing with you some of the tools that we use on YouTube that help uh, streamline the publishing process. So today on Dotto Tech, we're going to be taking a look at YouTube publishing using TubeBuddy. We have a pretty aggressive content publishing schedule here on YouTube. We, uh, we try and produce between three and four new videos uh, every week. So kind of streamlining the production process is, is really important to us. But not only is streamlining the production process important to us as we create our YouTube videos, but also knowing exactly how well each of our videos is performing is also very important to us because it allows us to modify our content to make it more appealing and more engaging as we move ahead. Now one tool that I've come to rely on and I've never shown you is called TubeBuddy. Now TubeBuddy is a, uh, a, a software service that facilitates much of the publishing process that YouTube content creators engage in. Now there's a free version available all the way up to an advanced version. Now I'm going to, I'm going to show you the advanced version that has pretty much all of the bells and whistles and I, I still don't use it 100% to its capabilities. But what we do use within it helps us immeasurably. And let's start with the actual content publishing process. Now with, with TubeBuddy when you purchase it, it installs as a browser extension and then you'll notice it, it will appear when you go into your creator studio. That's where YouTube content managers manage their channel and we can see we've got a new menu item up here in the top called TubeBuddy and this shows you kind of all of the tools this is a this is a roster of all of the different tools that TubeBuddy provides but typically speaking you don't access TubeBuddy through that menu instead it it, it, it shows its ability as you're working through each of your each of your products each of your videos um, best to just dive in and show you. Let's, let's use a video that we just published. This pu published just yesterday and it's one of our little one minute tech tips. So it's a little quick little uh, video uh, element that we've been publishing and, and, and is doing quite well for us uh, online. As, as we're creating the content, as you're creating the, uh, the post itself, your video itself, um, in order for YouTube to classify and people to discover you, you have to pay attention to YouTube SEO. You have to pay attention to the title and the description and the tags. And what TubeBuddy does is it starts to, we start to use it right away uh, in, within the tag process. Now this is one of the ways that YouTube classifies videos and it helps you get discovered in search. And you can see we've got little green uh, numbers next to each of these, uh, some of these tags. This is telling us how well this video is ranking after just a day in YouTube search based on these search terms, file sharing, Dropbox sharing files, these sorts of terms. So we're actually doing quite well with this video. I'm happy with this right now. But even before it's giving us this feedback, we use TubeBuddy as we were creating these tags, as you're writing the tags, TubeBuddy will actually offer you suggestions right here of tags that it thinks you, that based, on the, based on the content that you've already input on tags that might be relevant to your community uh, and rank in search. So right away in the research side as you're kind of uh, optimizing your video right out of the gate, TubeBuddy's there to start working with us and it stays working with us through the tags right through the uh, publishing process onto the nurturing process as we're watching a video and we're seeing how it performs later on. Because you can modify all of this information. One thing a lot of people don't know about when they publish a YouTube video is if it's not ranking very well in search or as well as you think it should in search right from the beginning, uh, you can go back and you can edit the title, you can edit the description, you can edit the tags to help a video perform better over time. The only thing you can't change is the video content itself, is that, is that package of video, although you could trim it if you chose, uh, but you can't change out the video. The next place that we use TubeBuddy is when we're creating our calls to action or our interactive elements within within the video itself. And uh, YouTube has something called YouTube Cards, which are those little interactive, it's a little eye button that'll appear over, uh, uh, over, our, um, over my shoulder up in the top here. Oops, actually it's on this side here. Oh, quiet Steve. It's on this side here. I was pointing on the wrong side. I was mirrored. Uh, but that little I button there, that's a call to action that allows us to invite you to, to do something. It's called a YouTube card. And in our case, we encourage people to click through to our website to sign up for our newsletter. We invite people to learn how we make our videos. Uh, we invite people to go to our crowdfunding site for Patreon. We use a whole bunch of different cards in each and every video. So rather than having to recreate those cards each time, TubeBuddy allows us to create templates 
once we've created a, a, a series of cards and to be able to apply that template. So instead of having to create all four of these YouTube cards that we typically put in every one of the videos, instead it'll, we're able to just plug this, uh, hit this button here, and then it applies all of the cards to the existing video. And you can have various types of templates depending on the type of YouTube content you publish. This alone is a big time saver. It probably saves, I'm gonna say it takes maybe two minutes per video to create the cards. That's just a guess. And so it probably saves us, you know, eight to 10 minutes per video publishing. Now that's not a lot if you just publish one video a month, but if you're publishing four videos a week, that's nearly an hour's worth of work that it saves us right there all by itself. Pretty phenomenal. The other thing I wanna show you with TubeBuddy is well, one of the things that I rely on an awful lot is once I've, after I've published a video, seeing how well that video is performing in, in, in YouTube search. And TubeBet, so you, people go through a lot of different machinations to do that. They'll go in as an, they'll go into a, an anonymous browser and search for the title within, within YouTube and see where their videos appear. And that's always okay to do. But if you're doing lots of videos, that takes a lot of time. And it's just, it's just probably not worth the effort. So instead, what I do is I go here into, uh, let's take this video that published a bit over a week ago now. It's on ScreenFlow and Camtasia. And I'm going to click here on the drop down menu beside TubeBuddy. And we can see all of the different assets that TubeBuddy brings. And as I say, it does far more than just what we're showing you in this short little demo. I'm going to go into search rankings here. And it's going to bring back all of the tags that we have within, the, within that video and tell us how it's ranking for search in those different areas. And the most relevant ones are, of course, these ones down at the bottom. But in the search terms that I'm most interested in, Camtasia Studio versus ScreenFlow, it's ranking number one. Uh, 2017, it's ranking number one. It's ranking number six. So it's ranking first page YouTube search. This isn't Google search. This is YouTube search. But it's ranking right up there in what I consider to be the most important search criteria. And I can see some that it's really not doing very well in at all. It's not working well in ScreenFlow, the, just a the very short tail search, Camtasia review. So I might decide to change out those search terms or, or do, some other, do some other SEO work on the description to help, it, to help it rank a little bit better. But the bottom line is this gives me a quick snapshot of whether or not I have to go in and do some surgery to, uh, to the descriptions and tags of a video to make sure that it starts to rank better. Because for me, as for many YouTube content creators, YouTube is a discovery engine. It's where people find us for the first time and they get introduced to our community. And the better that we rank in search, the more viral traffic YouTube delivers to us, the more our investment in creating the video pays off. And TubeBuddy has become an essential partner for me in all of that, in, in that entire process. So I encourage you to take a look. Uh, we'll put a link in, in below for TubeBuddy. I will point out too, I am an affiliate for TubeBuddy. So if you do end up purchasing TubeBuddy, and you go through our link, we will get compensated by TubeBuddy. Uh, but it's a service that I pay for as well. It's one that I certainly stand behind and think is well worth it for content creators like myself and it well may be something that you can use as well. I hope you found today's video to be useful. Now I do have two other favors to ask of you. First, please sub uh, give this video a subscription and a like if you can and while you're at it, sharing it would be awesome. Uh, secondly, we encourage you to sign up for our newsletter. Uh, that way we can tell you about our upcoming events tutorials, trainings. We do a weekly webinar series here on Dotto Tech, which is a free training that I think you will find awesome. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.